How many more banners do global Dokkan players still have to sit through and try and resist summoning on before the dual Dokkan Fest anniversary banners drop? That's exactly what this video is about. So I really need you to pay attention because there's a lot of moving parts in this video and I want to make sure we are on the same page. I do tend to talk very, very fast, but I'm going to try my best to slow it down for you in this video but i also need to try my best to catch one of you lacking with today's very quick subscriber challenge which is this all right if you summoned on this agl trunks banner and didn't pull a single featured unit you know who you are you got caught lacking bad and you gotta subscribe to the channel i don't know what you're doing save your stones please all right save your luck i mean at least at least it's good that you got your, your bad luck out the way but stop summoning okay if you did pull a featured unit you can skip today's subscriber challenge let's hop into the video so remember that the anniversary for global dokkan will be dropping on july uh 9th the anniversary starts on the 7th two days later the banners do drop so the, again the question is how many more banners uh will global will basically global dokkan get before the anniversary starts we are starting off with the agl trunks banner. i'm not going to count this one but that's just this is just where we are currently right now okay after this trunks banner global dokkan will get saiyan day i just pulled up broly here because we have no idea what saiyan day is going to be as of the time i'm recording this video uh but saiyan day will be the first banner that global gets before the anniversary it is going to be a joint celebration with jp dokkan starting on the 18th of march okay now after march 18th we move into april now i'm telling you right now april is 99.76 percent confirmed uh, or at least beginning of april is 99.7 percent confirmed to be these two bad boys right here these two should be dropping in the beginning of april these are the last dokkan fests besides ginyu that global dokkan does not have that jp does that came out before the anniversary so these are the these two are slated to drop um in the beginning of april yes we will get a dual dokkan fest beginning of april these are going to be two more banners so these two plus saiyan day sorry saying day we have three banners so far that dokkan has to sit through let's move on okay so after uh these two banners right here keep in mind that kid boo and goku they don't have any part 2 lr to their celebration so global dokkan will not get a part 2 lr um for this celebration instead both global and jp again will be meeting up to celebrate golden week now if you guys remember last year global and jp dokkan celebrated golden week together it's another dual dokkan fest banner before you say mr baby i highly doubt global dokkan will have two dual dokkan fest banners in a month it literally happened last year last year uh global got these two bad boys right here and then the PyCon and um janemba dual dokkan fest in the beginning of the month so again it's going to happen this month as well again golden week is most likely going to be about the movie itself right uh, we like we don't know what the we know what the movie is going to be about so far but um we have no idea what golden week is going to be but since golden week is going to come out the same around the same time as the movie we're speculating that the, um that it's going to be about the, the the like no like wow i can't speak english the golden week celebration jeez bro should be centered around um the super dragon ball super superhero movie at least that's what we're thinking but regardless uh global and jp will share um the dual dokkan fest celebration for golden week which uh, adds on two more banners so so far we have two banners for golden week two banners for kid boo and goku that's four and saiyan day is five okay all right now i completely forgot about this banner but after golden week last year all right and remember these banners will drop towards the end of april so the beginning of may global dokkan will actually get an lr that jp will also get which in this case was lr super 17 i completely forgot about this guy in terms of when he dropped he did drop for both global and jp may was sort of like a dead period for both versions of the game because remember these guys drop uh end of april and then we have to wait like almost 20 days uh we got some like easy a's and stuff but like nothing really happened like okay you know nothing really dropped besides this one lr um during the month of may for both global and jp so whatever lr like whatever part two lr comes out for golden week will be shared by both global and jp dokkan 
So we like during May we should only really see one banner, like just like last year, which means that in total we have what seven banners so far. We have one, two, three, four, five, no six so far. So Saiyan Day, um, beginning of April, uh, Do Dual Dokkan Fest, Golden Week Dual Dokkan Fest. That's five, and then the Part Two LR for Golden Week which will be six banners so far. And that brings us to the beginning of June for Global Doka. Remember, the anniversary begins in July. So we're getting very close to the anniversary so far. Now, I need you, this is where I really need you to pay attention, okay? So during June, Global Dokkan should be receiving, I always say should because things can always change, but should be receiving AGL Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu. This makes sense. This is exactly what happened last year, right? Uh, Ginyu is the March Dokkan Fest for JP. Last year, Physical Goten and Trunks was a March Dokkan Fest, and um, they also dropped in, in the beginning of June for uh, Global Dokkan as well. So these two units, like this unit, um, is the same exact time slot as Physical Goten and Trunks last year. So we should expect this guy to, be, to drop in the beginning of June for Global Dokkan. But as you know, right, there is no part two LR to Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu, right? Say, just like how there was no LR for physical Goten and Trunks. So the question is, what's going to drop towards the end of June? Remember, because we need at least one more banner. We don't really need one more banner, but last year we got an LR banner before the anniversary. This year we should as well. But if there's no part two LR, then what the heck will Global Dokkan get uh, as an LR for part two of the celebration. Now, there's definitely two options here, but I'm telling you, uh, one of them is not that likely. Um, many people are speculating something about, uh, well, you know, global first units, which honestly could could definitely happen. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen. Global first, it seems like it's kind of squeezed out of global Dokkan schedule. There's not really a space for it. I'm going to explain to you why in just a second. Um, but the second option is this this is definitely what's most likely because it even it, it happened last year okay so beginning of june dokkan fest ginyu will drop who will be the quote-unquote part two lr for this celebration that's going to completely depend on what jp gets in april and what i mean is this last year as a, as like the part two lr again in june for global dokkan Global got LR Tapion and Minosha. Now, obviously, Tapion and Minosha have nothing to do with physical Goten and Trunks. But this unit was the part 2 LR to STR Videl, who dropped in April for JP Dokkan. Okay? So, what, what happened here is that JP got Videl first, right? Just, you know, April 1st, uh, they got, she got, uh, JP got uh, Dokkan Fest Videl. And then for the part two of that celebration on JP, they got um, LR Tapion and Minosha. But what Global Dokkan did is that they flipped it around. So they gave us, as you guys can clearly see from the time release, uh, they gave us Tapion and Minosha first in June, right after the physical Goten and Trunk celebration. And then after the anniversary itself, that's when they dropped the main Dokkan Fest part one unit, if you will. So expect the same thing to be happening this year and pay very close attention to who drops in April now for JP Dokkan because again during April Global and JP sorry Global Dokkan will be receiving these two should be receiving these two dual Dokkan fest at the same time JP will be getting a Dokkan fest unit that Dokkan fest unit JP gets when we get this should be coming after Dokkan's anniversary, which ends, you know, like the 8th or 9th of August. Um, now, the Part 2 LR, okay, that drops during the uh, April Dokkan Fest for JP should be dropping before the anniversary, just like Tapio Minosha, after Ginyu drops. So, again, it's going to be Ginyu, then the Part 2 LR to whatever Dokkan Fest JP gets in April, then the anniversary... And then the part one Dokkan Fest that JP received in April. And then at that moment, both Global and JP are quote unquote completely, you know, caught up in a way um, to where we can now celebrate uh, the worldwide celebration together. So uh, stay tuned. That, that's basically everything going on. Now, Global and JP will definitely not be like all the way caught up because keep in mind, 
um, that when you know Dokkan is getting the anniversary stuff, JP will be getting a few Dokkan fests of their own. So again, the, both versions will not be caught up, you know, in that sense. Uh, but by the time the uh, April Dokkan Fest comes out after the anniversary for Global Dokkan, um, then we'll be caught up all the way until at least April. Well, actually, further than that, because remember, uh, we are sharing... Um, yeah, no. We, yeah, basically, we're all sharing uh, all of April. And then beginning of May, like that first... Or at least, you know, the first few days of May where the LR drops for the part two of Go of the Week. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Uh, this should be the schedule for Global Dokkan moving into the anniversary. Now let's count the banners. Okay, so we have Saiyan Day. That's one. Sorry. Saiyan Day. That's one. All right. Then Kid Buu and Goku. Or, yeah, Kid Buu and Goku. That's three. Then the Gold of the Week Dual Dokkan Fest. That's five banners. Then we have the Part 2 to Saiyan to Golden Week, which is going to be six banners. Then we have uh, Captain Ginyu, which is going to be seven banners. And then we're going to get the LR. We should get the LR that JP gets as Part 2 of their April celebration um or at least the beginning of the april celebration which will make eight banners so you can expect at least minimum eight banners left for global dokkan before the anniversary itself releases you have the power to save okay i believe in you skip all of this i mean listen if a really strong 200 percent lead comes out then i get why you would probably want to summon but uh, there's no, I'm telling you right now, there is no banner that's going to drop between now and the anniversary that's going to have more value than this or this. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Again, we are on the road to 30k subscribers and only you can help us get there. So if you found this video useful, consider liking, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and peace.